Hi, I'm Steve Lee. I'm a product manager at Google. I work on Google Maps for mobile. And I'm Mark Grady. I'm the engineering manager for GMM. Google Maps on the iPhone has gotten rave reviews. And one of the great things about the iPhone is that from the, the idle screen, Maps is right here. So it's really convenient. You just press on Maps and you have Google Maps right away. And what these, what we're going to show you today is the convenience keys on a lot of other types of phones, such as the, the a RIM BlackBerry or Nokia device. Or Windows Mobile device. And all of these devices, you can program uh, convenience keys or a really accessible, quick way to, to access different applications. Google Maps for mobile is one, but you can also access Google Search, uh, and Gmail, and, and any, any application that you use frequently. We've heard a lot of people say that uh, once they discovered convenience keys, they found the app so much more useful. Instead of having to, to fumble around with a bunch of keys, maybe hit six different key combinations to get to the app, just one button, you're there. So here's the, uh, here's the idle screen on a, on a typical BlackBerry. And so I, I go ahead and click through on settings. And then from here, you can look for screen and keyboard. This happens to be this icon. Maybe on some Blackberries you might have to go to options to find this, but what you're, what you're looking for is, is, is screen and keyboard. When you click through on this, then you just want to scroll down, and what you're looking for is the convenience key. So right here you can see on this particular model there's two convenience keys. So there's a right side convenience key opens and, and left side. And, and all you do is you simply click on this and here you get a list of all the applications that you can choose from. I happen to have this one uh, selected for Google search but, but if I wanted to uh, you know, launch Google talk I could choose that as well. And now the, the right side convenience key will, will uh, open Google Talk. Similarly, I have Google Maps set for the left side convenience key. Then you just go ahead and save those changes. All right, so this is the Windows Mobile case. Uh, one thing that Microsoft's done really well on Windows Mobile is that they have this uh, tray of recently used applications. So oftentimes, you can just go ahead and access your app right here. Um, even easier than that is setting the convenience key. So let's go ahead and, and try that out. I would go to Start, and I'd go to uh, uh, Settings and scroll down to more and now key settings uh, and now we'll go to side key settings and in this case I'll switch from MediaNet Home to Google Maps I hit done and now uh, it's a long press on this particular device so I have to hold this and keep it held down and sure enough here we are Mountain View California I can go ahead and do my pizza, pizza search and, and get some lunch this happens to be an N95 model and uh, you can see from the idle screen here on the N95, there's six application icons at the top. All of those are, are customizable. You can also customize the left and right soft key as well. So let's, let's first look at how you customize the application icons. You click the menu key, then you go down to tools, then you choose settings, then you go to personalization, and standby mode. You go down to active standby apps, you'll see that there's then six shortcut keys which correspond to the, the six uh, icons that, that uh, we showed you on that vital screen. So if you just go ahead and click on shortcut one, then here's a list of all your applications. So you can just sh scroll through them. Let's get Google Maps and save that. So now if we go back to the main screen, now you can see the Google Maps icon is right there. You can program these soft keys by following a s similar pattern if you go to Tools, Settings, and personalization just like before. From here, instead of active standby apps, you go to shortcuts. And here you can pick the left and right selection keys. And just like the other um, method, you, you come up with a, a list of applications. So if we want to Google Talk, that's now the left selection key. Just to demonstrate the power and value of the convenience key, one of us is going to use a convenience key, and the other has to go through the, the painful old school process of, of of launching an application. I'm Mr. Old School. We'll, we'll, see who, uh, we'll see who wins. You say when. I say when. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Tombstone? Oh. You say when. <laughs> oh, and then I say, I actually say when? Yeah, you draw. <laughs> what do you mean? I, you, Val Kilmer <laughs> says, Val Kilmer uh, says, you say when. Uh, and, and that means when you pull it, when you draw, then I draw. Uh, and what do I do? Do I say draw or do I say win? <laughs> you just draw. <laughs> you just draw. Uh, I don't say anything. No. Okay. I say you say one, but you actually just draw. Okay. And I'll draw and beat you. All right, you say one. All right, go.
So I press the convenience key, use the Google Maps as launched, I'm done. <laughs> and I'm still trying to find my menu key. And where's my application? There it is. And seconds now. Bam. So there you go. You see how much more powerful convenience keys are, you're going to use your application much more frequently and get a lot more value out of it.